Really? Damn it. Let's have some beer. What do you want down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we're going back to Quebec. There's three beers left in the fridge after this one. So, um, I don't know. I want to say two of them are somewhat promising. One of them is somewhat scary. This one here, the date says M08, and that, I'm pretty sure that's a 15 right there. It could be a 16, but I'm pretty sure that's a 15. So, this, this is all kinds of not even a little tiny bit of the fresh right now. Regardless, we've got a bottle of Noir de Chamblay by Unibrew out of Chamblay, Quebec, coming in at 6.2% ABV. This is a black ale, so I'm hoping maybe it's, but it's in a frickin' bottle, so if any kind of light was shining on this, oh, yeah. On the upside, it was only, that's, that's not even the right orange at all. Well, that comes through horribly. It was $5.99. It's a pretty good deal, I can't deny that. But at the same time, Oh, do I not have any kind of hopes that are high right now. A particular gas station that was referenced before in one of my vlogs can go to hell. That was amazing. It bounced off of the frickin' cabinet, off of the carpet, and then went in. I am awesome. Okay, let's see. That feels like it's got some pressure to it. See? Marcel, if you're watching, this is how a cork is opened on my channel. He did such a terrible job with that cork. This is gonna go in a good way, I think. A little bit more. Once you guys start going on your own. Come on, come on, oh, there it goes. Yeah, that went. Holy crap, that was one of the loudest cork pops I've ever heard Oreo. Yeah, I can't let that happen. Uh, no. <laughs> Much of the no. He'll chew on that and basically eat it. And I don't know if it's bad for him. I just. The, the bits that he doesn't eat are littered all over carpet. So, let's see what we've got here. That is not even close to as dark as I would have assumed. Like, you can see right through the pore that's happening. The beer itself looks pretty dark, but I don't know. I do not know. Picture. It's dark, but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna... I can only have that it close. Yeah, that's... You call that a black ale? Really? That's weird. Okay, that, that smells fruity and really, really yeasty. Ah. Ah. Give it a shot. I'm just like, give me a second. Courage needs to be built up a little bit. I'm work myself up to it. Yeah, okay. Oh, for Christ's sakes. I don't know. I don't think that's really gone bad. It's just... The aging has turbocharged any Belgian qualities that were in there. Oh, that's yeast! Ah! Ah! No! I don't want it! Oh, fuck me! 
in the ear. Let's do this, I guess. Cheers. Stuff. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think that might have actually turned a bit or something. It's not doing it. This is a... Uh, I think this might get released as just like a standalone video. This isn't this doesn't qualify as a daily drink vlog. This stuff is right fucked up. It's making my eyes water. Like holy crap. Oh. I was thinking, you know, I'm gonna crack open this nice big beer, drink a bit on camera, be able to go back there, watch some Walk, sit down there for a while and enjoy some of this beer or just kind of drink the beer and if I didn't do it yeah this is beyond that um uh, peace out we have got a bottle of Noir de Chamblay by Unibrew out of some place I can't remember in Quebec coming in at 6.2% ABV they are out of what the hell is it why is it not here it's always here what's going on Unibrew oh Chambly they're from Chambly <laughs> that's pretty bad redoing it Chambly, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this, from Unibrew out of Chambly, Quebec, coming in at 6.2% ABV. This is a black ale, whereas the Cham, uh, what was it, Blanc? Was it Blanc? No, Blanche. What, what the hell was it? Blanc de Chambly? I'm all confused and stuff. I have to retake it again. Fuck. <laughs>